we know is that a 61 year old man was the victim of this stabbing attack happening shortly after 9 30 last night police responding to a 911 call and what they found was this man had been stabbed in the head and the face and they believe that the weapon was a screwdriver it was at the one train they were able to get EMS was able to get him to Mount Sinai West to be treated for his injuries. We don't know the full extent, but the victim was able to walk with EMS to that waiting ambulance. Police didn't recover the weapon, but from their early investigation, they do believe that it was a screwdriver used. All we have for a description of the attacker so far is that he's male. Most subway stations have video cameras rolling. We are hoping and waiting for police to release some images. These incidents are becoming more and more common this year. Just yesterday, we had another stabbing on the E-train and a shooting incident the uh, night before that. Just because the MTA said that they're putting more cops on the platforms does not mean that they're actually providing a proactive approach. And let's give you a little bit of a framework for crime in the city right now. This year, October, compared to last, felony assaults up by 7%, transit crimes up by 6%, bias investigations by the hate crimes unit are up 124%, and anti-Jewish, specifically hate crimes investigations, up by 214%. And this, of course, leads to the general feeling of unease in the city when it comes to crime. Another attack, this time inside the subway system as police continue to look for this attacker.